Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Patricia. I just turned 20 and I currently work at Publix. I've been working at Publix for three years. I've worked in other places while working there and truthfully no job compares to that job. Publix is not sponsoring me. Publix is not paying me. I just feel like I'll get it out of the way because for some reason when I talk so highly of this company, people think that the company pays me to talk about it because I guess they don't believe it and truthfully this is just my raw and open opinion. On my channel, I like to help people. That's my number one thing. A lot of the videos I I do I try to make them helpful whether it be self-motivation self-love how to get a job somewhere how to babysit just like helpful advice how to cook you know out of it so in today's video is going to be nothing different if anything I'm going to be enhancing that um, I guess like that topic that I carry here on my channel now I have some really exciting news I was actually gonna live stream it but then I decided to make a video about it because I just figured I could sit here and have more time to talk to you guys and everything and I don't really live stream much so I don't know if you guys want to see more live streams let me know but I am I'm expanding on my channel and I want to start doing collabs now when I say collabs I don't just mean with other youtubers which I'm honestly completely open to so if there's any youtuber out there it does not matter how small or big you are I'm open to collabing I know certain youtubers are like oh you know if they have 3k they don't want to collab with someone who has 1k I never understood that because you obviously started at a lower you know subscriber count than um, whatever count you are at now if that makes sense but I know some people are like that I'm not like that so if y'all you know have 200 subscribers hit me up we can definitely do a collab and I'm very very excited because I'm collabing though um, wait I messed that up <laughs> I'm very very excited though because I want to start collabing with people who work I mean you don't have to have a YouTube channel to collab I want to collab with people who are just a regular life day to day they work they come out they go to eat they go to school whatever it is that you do Luna what's going on so aside from any collaboration with any youtuber or if you're trying to start off a youtube aside from that i also want to collab with employees now the reason behind this is because everyone has a story i mean that's just a, a fact it's known everyone has a story and a lot of us have a sad story too you know it's not just the person who posts about it a lot of us come from a you know shitty past excuse my language or something bad that has happened to them and maybe they don't speak about it but it's there it's present and it's present to them because they're the ones who know about it now a lot of people surprisingly um i knew that my videos were meant to help people but i didn't think it would impact people this much i've gotten the sweetest dm sweetest comments about how people have been able to leave toxic situations and like people who didn't work and now they're working and getting their own bag especially at Publix which is genuinely such a good company because of all the benefits and stuff that they give you so that definitely really motivated me to want to continue and want to expand and be like hold up if my story or not so much my story but my helpful advice reached so many people could you imagine if i got more people on my channel to share their experience and their story because i'm just one person so even though like i said i've been able to move so many people which makes me extremely happy and i'm very happy for you guys if you've gotten hired or if you've gotten a job or if you've just gotten anything out of watching my videos i'm very very happy about that but i just think i'll be able to reach more people by adding more people into my channel now obviously this is completely optional like i'm not gonna go around asking like oh my gosh do you want to be in a video do you want to be in a video i mean I've done that but no <laughs> so for the most part I feel like I connect a lot with my subscribers I do believe that the age range and like my target audience is around my same age with the same kind of like mentality and goals that I have which is kind of like go to school go to work you know the basic stuff but I just figured like what if I start bringing in people who are a little older than me or people who are a little younger than me or people with a different past or people with different goals and for them to share their stories or for them to share their experience working in the company whether it be good whether it be bad whether it be off like whatever it is that they want to Talk about i'm not just going to bring people on here to keep telling you guys the same things i tell you guys i want them to give you guys the real and raw, uh, raw honest opinion of what they feel about the company and this isn't just open for the public's company itself if you work at target if you work at walmart if you work at chick-fil-a wherever it is that you want to work at or that i'm sorry that not that you want to work at wherever it is that you currently work at if you want to come share your story you're more than welcome to come on my channel share that because i just feel like you're going to be helping people um I personally feel like sometimes there might be people watching me and they might have a different story than mine let's say and they may be like oh I'm you know 50 years old I'm stuck with this husband who doesn't treat me good but he's the one who pays the bills and even though Patricia's videos are helpful she doesn't understand and you know she, that person might feel like not connected with me or not connected to my videos and that's not what I want my goal is to target everybody who genuinely wants to work because that field is 
very very big everyone should work or everyone deserves to work at least if they want to work if you don't want to work that's fine but everyone deserves to work if they want to work therefore i want to bring in people to my videos that can help people who might not feel that close of a connection with me because maybe they're just not the same way as i am maybe they don't think the same way i am and that's perfect and that's perfectly fine because we are all different. Like, obviously, God created us all different. So nobody's me. I'm not like anyone else. I mean, we're all different. But I know that, especially, like, with my um, age group, I feel like we all kind of just have the same goals. But that's not the same goal as someone who is maybe a little younger, someone who's a little older, someone who just came from Cuba, let's say. So I want to have other people share their stories and to help other people. And I want other people to share their experience working in the company. Because like I said, I'm just one person and I love the company and I've never heard anyone truthfully dislike the company. They might not like certain things that have happened in the company or certain days at the job, but that's normal in any job. But I've never heard someone say, I've never heard someone say, I, I genuinely like hate this company. So I think it's a good company. I don't think anyone's gonna come on here and really like bash the company. But if that's the case, I'm just really trying to have people come on here and say their true opinions so that you guys, my viewers who wanna work here, get a real and raw feel for what it's like. And like I said, this isn't just open to the public's company itself. This is open to any company. I wanna be able to help people who wanna get jobs. So if you work at a Starbucks, if you work at a Tilly's, I don't know where y'all work, but wherever you wanna work and if you wanna share your experience, you're more than welcome to. Now, I know you guys are probably like, okay, well, I'm down, but I live you know somewhere where you don't live all right so i'm gonna start traveling and it's not like a it's it's not like a tour like i'm not freaking famous i'm just you know your local cashier but <laughs> i stay in the broward area so if you stay in the broward area go ahead and send me a dm or a snapchat or comment down below if you want to like link and we could do a video i'm also going to be visiting the west palm area so if you live like near west palm beach and you work at a Publix or you work anywhere and you want to share your story let me know and i'm also going to be at orlando and, uh, I'm also going to be just like in different areas, okay? So it doesn't matter where you stay at. Go ahead and comment down below or send me a DM. Send me where you're located so that when I'm in that area, I know when to hit you up because that's the thing. I might not be in your area tomorrow or today, but I might be in your area a week from now and then we can, you know, collab. I feel like it's a good experience for people who want to, you know, get the word out there. I've gotten, just so that you guys get a feel, I've gotten over hundreds of DMs and stuff about Publix, obviously, because those videos have been doing really good on my channel. I get thousands of views on those videos and that's not me trying to be cocky. That just shows me and shows everyone that these work videos are helpful to people and they need to be out here so that people can, can get the answers to their questions. Now, I've gotten DMs where ladies have told me that they've been like in an abusive situation. Um, like I said already, you know, been with a husband who doesn't treat them very good, but they don't know where to apply or how to apply. I also got in a situation of like younger kids who come from toxic families or toxic households and they're just looking for a way out. So I've always recommended them to apply and then they get hired and thank me and, you know, show me love and everything but i feel like if maybe they share their stories then more people who are in their same shoes will be more confident and more assertive about applying because even though i'm here telling you guys yes 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 apply i know it's not the same taking advice from someone who hasn't gone through maybe the same things that you're going through so now if i get someone who comes on here who has the same or a similar story to you you might feel more sure about yourself when you go apply so essentially it's just to be able to help you guys and help more people and reach more people because like i said i know sometimes it's really hard to get a job especially in a good company i know there's companies out here that um they work you very hard and then they don't pay you um equally so i think Publix is really good at that because they do pay pretty well they pay above minimum wage and you know for the most part a lot of people are happy in this company and whether it be this company or somewhere else it's just about being able to be there for other people who aren't sure if they should apply it maybe they don't have that 100 percent confidence yet to go into a store or what to say so the main focus about bringing in people is for them to share their story for them to say you know what i come from a toxic family too so i understand you guys and i honestly think that Publix is a good fit for you or they might say i don't think Publix is a good fit for you i think maybe target is a better fit for you if you have this kind of lifestyle so i definitely want someone else to say that because you guys already know my mentality about Publix. you guys already know my mindset around it you guys already know that i think it's an amazing company but i'm the same person telling you guys the same thing so i want to 
change it up a little bit you know spice things up so that you guys can get like a real feel for it and if people genuinely feel the same way about me about this company then i'm sure you guys are going to believe me more because i'm gonna have that evidence to back it up not that you guys don't believe me but you guys are definitely gonna have like that evidence to back up um what i've been telling y'all now originally i was gonna do this with the people who work at my store because i know you guys are probably like why are you trying to expand so much why are you trying to collab with freaking strangers and stuff it's not that I'm not trying to do it or that I am trying to do it. I was never opposed to doing it, but I was never like eager looking around to do it because I knew that the people in my store were down to do it. So I was going to start off with them and then work my way from there. But in case you haven't caught up with some of my work, series, drama stuff, um, essentially there was just this lady who snitched on my videos and basically everyone who was going to be in my videos, they kind of got scared because they were like, we don't want to get in trouble for being in your videos. I explained to them that the reason I kind of like I didn't get in trouble but they caught my attention because I did a video on the clock which I wasn't supposed to be doing so don't do that but I didn't get in trouble for the videos that I do outside of work I don't get in trouble for sitting here and being like Publix is a great company I don't get in trouble for sitting here and being like oh um this is what you do as a bagger this is what you do as a cashier I don't get in trouble for that but the lady installed like that fear to the other associate associates that if basically they were in my video that they might get into some type of trouble so they don't want to be in my videos anymore which is completely fine i'm never going to force anyone to do anything that they don't want to do and if you don't want to be in my videos 110 percent then don't be in it because then i don't want you to feel some type of way so i definitely didn't like press the issue i was like oh yeah i don't want to be in my video anymore that's fine like i get where they're coming from they're scared that they might get in trouble but at the same token it's like I have freedom of speech. I can say whatever I want outside of the company, but I don't even sit here and bash the company. So it's not even like what I'm doing is like defaming them or anything. I'm sitting here and just giving my real and honest opinion, nothing bad because I genuinely don't think anything bad about the company. And the reason I got in trouble is because she pressed the issue and I didn't even get in trouble, honestly. They were just like, Patricia, is this true? And I was like, bro, I did one video on the clock. I apologize, won't happen again. That's it. I didn't have to take down the video. I didn't have to do anything. But she didn't like me because her boyfriend had a crush on me. So it was some stupid childish stuff like that. And like the lady's like 40 years old. So it was it was no need to go that far. But that's essentially why my coworkers don't really want to be in my videos now. And I understand it, but it's not going to stop me. So that's why I'm reaching out to you guys as my subscribers. Because I know so many of you have gotten hired at Publix after seeing my videos. And truthfully, my subscribers are my friends. A lot of times when I feel down because I feel like I don't have friends. Because it does happen. Even though I talk about self-love and motivation all the time. It doesn't mean that I never feel down or that I don't go through my sad and depressed days. I don't like the word depressed. I don't like that word. But I, don't, I, I still go through my sad days. You know, it's normal. I'm still a person who's trying to also heal and do better in life. You know, it's just it's just normal. It's part of everyone's journey for them to occasionally feel sad, to occasionally cry, to occasionally get in your car and go for a drive because you're just overwhelmed. It's normal. So a lot of times when I feel that way because, oh, I don't have friends, I don't know what to do, I come on here and do videos. And that I think that's why I'm able to keep such consistency on my channel or so much consistency on my channel is because I come on here whenever I feel some type of way and talk to you guys and I don't need to talk to you guys about how I'm feeling I'll talk to you guys about something helpful or how to make something or how to do something but it makes me feel good the fact that I feel like I'm gonna have listeners to listen to me when I finish recording the video so it really it just keeps me really really motivated so like I said I'm reaching out to you guys as my friends or as my subscribers if you guys would like to share your story in hopes that it might help someone else and it doesn't have to be no sad story oh you know so and so left me my boyfriend dumped me and I needed to find a job I mean if you want to say that that's fine but it doesn't have to be a sad story if you genuinely just want to be like i felt like as a man or as a woman um i should be getting my own bag i applied at Publix, got hired and this is the kind of stuff i've experienced i mean you're free to say whatever you want you can talk about what it's like to you know be a deli clerk what it's like to work in the bakery you can talk about any weird experiences that have happened at Publix. so i know I know there's weird stuff that has happened. My store has weird stuff happen all the time. You can talk about some type of manager that maybe you didn't get along with. You can talk about um, where you were in the past, where you are now, just anything. Because I think if we all come together as a community, we can all go up from there. And that's not just me trying to like sweet talk or be like, <laughs> oh yeah, peace, love, whatever. No, that's just genuinely like my opinion. Like we all need to be there for one another. The world is hard enough. Like stop being mean, stop trying to have an ego. Like. Let's just all come together and be one big happy, you know, YouTube family over here. 
So definitely, like I said, message me if you guys are interested in doing any type of videos. Like I said, I stay near the Broward area, but I will be in West Palm Beach, I will be in Orlando, and I will be in Tampa. Those are the first three places I'm going to in the next few months. So make sure you let me know. And if you live somewhere else, that's also fine. Let me know so that when I visit that area, because 2021, I will be traveling. When I visit that area, I'll know to message you, okay? So with that being said, I'm logging off. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being there for me, for being amazing. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye.